guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to a brand new video. This weekend I thought I would bring you a video in relation to Black Friday. Soon as though it is the weekend. I mean Black Friday has now gone. But quite often in the UK we have sales throughout the whole weekend into Monday as well. So I thought I would get this video up. It's an accumulation of a few ideas that I have for you guys to maybe keep your eyes peeled for within the sales. Also things that I'm keeping my eyes peeled for within the sales. And also a load of new in bits that I've got recently that I'll leave linked below should any of them have gone into sale that you could shop through yourself. See what discounts there are to be had on these items. And it's just homeware bits, fashion-y bits and like I said some ideas and suggestions for you guys on what to keep your eyes peeled for this weekend so if you're not set and ready already then make sure you go grab yourselves a nice cozy drink put your feet up let's get comfy let's share some suggestions of some amazing deals out there in the comments below because your eyes are all amazing when it comes to shopping so many of you send me links to things in stores that you see and think of me and think that i'll like and honestly you guys influence me because as soon as you send me something that you know i'm gonna like i'm straight to that store and i'm buying it in fact the first item i'll show you is exactly one of those things one of you guys sent me a link to this and i was like oh in fact it was a photo of you holding it in store and I was like, I'm going on to Amazon and I'm buying it now. So I'll show you that first. Let's start with Amazon. I feel like Amazon are the kings for Black Friday deals because they have everything. They have electronics, they have like homeware stuff like vacuums, KitchenAids. That's another thing that I'm keeping my eyes peeled for for dark Christmas. Let me put this down because I feel like I need both hands for this haul. Mm. So I feel like this is the weekend to get all your Christmas shopping. It's just the time to do it if you're wanting to get discounts and sales and stuff. So the first item, which is what one of you guys sent me a photo of and said that you think I like it, is this book, which is very in line with my aesthetic in neutral colour palette, etc. And the fact that I am after nice looking cookbooks for our kitchen, our future kitchen, the dream. Hopefully this time next year we'll have the downstairs done. That would be lovely. Um, but yeah, this is a book called Feed Me. It's 50 home cooked meals for your dogs. So it's actually a recipe book for your little pooches. Pasta with zucchini and lamb. I mean, we can all have the same dinner. Ooh, chicken and apple meatballs. This retails for 19 pounds and 95 pence. I think it was about 11 pounds when I picked it up from Amazon. This one was a little more expensive. This is 25 pounds from Amazon. It's something that I've been wanting for a while for outside our front door. It's a cast iron and wood brush, uh, like boot cleaner and boot jack. So you have it kind of stood that way so you can pop your foot in, get your wellies off or your boots off whilst giving them a clean at the same time. It's just a really handy thing to have, especially when you're a dog mum and you go on dog walks every day and this season is particularly muddy. It's solid cast iron, it's very heavy. Look at this gorgeousness. I mean, this brand is everything to me. It's a new brand that I've discovered. It's called Magic Linen. Some of these items in this haul are gifted, very kind of from the brands, this one included. So they have a whole range of products on their website that is very uh, linen based. Magic Linen says it in the name. This first one, look it's even got the 100% linen tab. This first one is like a, oh I mean how they describe them on the website is one thing but you could definitely use these however you intend on purposefully purposing them, per using them. I don't know what I'm trying to say. This is a drawstring bag of which is 100% linen, it comes in a variety of colours, I went for the natural colour, it's nice and big so I'm thinking a laundry bag for this one would be quite a nice idea. And then I also picked up this smaller bag, this was described as a bread bag which again in itself I think would look lovely in the kitchen to have your bread in here and then you can just cinch it closed and the little kind of like tie ribbon again is that kind of natural linen just says magic linen on it but it's a gorgeous fabric gorgeous texture gorgeous color if i do say so myself the one that i picked out i think was the best but they do have um, other neutrals like white and ivory and all sorts of colors but i think the natural linen is my favorite color when it comes to linen products okay this one is a tote bag so i thought this would come in handy for sort of weekend getaways you know when you just need a few bits to like shove in a bag, just a good shopper tote bag. Although I say shopper tote bag, it's quite big for a shopper bag. I mean, you could maybe do 
take this to do your food shopping, but it is quite big. It's probably get quite heavy, but honestly, love this. Maybe even a beach bag would be lovely as. And then I've got some tea towels. They do have a little loop tab as well. If you tend to keep your kitchen towels kind of hung up on the insides of doors or on the back of doors, whatever. So I just love it. Honestly, I'm obsessed with this brand. This set of waffle linen towels is divine i mean this let's see if it's still 100 linen no so this one is part linen it's 53 percent linen 47 percent cotton so it's nice and soft yeah i love that kind of waffle texture it reminds me of like like nice expensive spas to have waffle towels and i feel like this in a towel this color is actually very practical because white towels do tend to get dirty especially if you wear fake tan or makeup um so yeah this one is actually a set of you get a little face cloth which i think would look good kind of thrown over the bath tray or kind of styled up with maybe my bath salts on it on my little wooden teak stool and then there's a hand towel which is this size and then the bath sheet which i might as well show you is pretty big i can't even show you it all because it is so big but yeah they are the three sizes that you get within that set and they are doing black friday promotions over this weekend so have a look if you like the look of these items so this is that same fabric but in a throw so this is ginormous there's absolutely no way i'm showing you this um by holding it up because it is huge but um it is so like weighty and cozy and i think this with white bedding will look lovely maybe even white linen bedding who knows maybe i might be taking advantage of their sales myself but the last thing that i got i've kind of kept it bagged up for now for when we eventually get around to putting these up these are linen curtains which if you've seen any photos or any videos or anything during our house renovation you know that i have linen curtains downstairs i love them they don't block out light but to be honest with you even in bedrooms and things we don't really need to block out the light Look how much material is there so i've measured out for our bedroom to pop these ones in because we've got a bay window we needed quite a few in future we're thinking about maybe having shutters in there but i still like the kind of warmth and the softness to having curtains within a bedroom even if you've got shutters i have a couple more homeware items from i saw it first which i've never shopped their homeware before very impressed this is from sass and bell obviously stocked on i saw it first and i've got this cushion for barney's bed He's got kind of like more of a sofa bed type thing. I mean, he's a pampered pooch from Omelette. I featured it in a previous video and I get so many questions about whenever I post on his Instagram about his bed, so many people ask me where I got it from. So it's from Omelette, if you haven't seen it. So I throw over a throw and then I put the cushion on to kind of style it. Reserved for the dog. On the back, it is just black. It's the black and beige that we've got running throughout this home that... I'm obsessed with this so I picked that one up and then I also got this for Christmas just a couple of decorations I have already put our tree up you'll have seen I thought I would add these to the tree I love the kind of it's it's threaded these three hanging decorations we've got a snowflake a star and then, then a larger star so this is part of the like gifting the Christmas section and it's a box of charades which I thought was just genius to be able to pop this in the middle of a table on Christmas day and just whoever wants to just join in with the fun it's just a little box which you can just lift off this lid and there's a few sticks in there that you can just grab and act out so for instance Britney Spears is one and there's different categories so that one is obviously a famous person personal character and Honey I Shrunk the Kids and this is from Ginger Ray and then the other two bits that I got from I Store First are clothing the first one these were so affordable I had to pick them up and these are more kind of lounge around the house leggings let's tell you what they are but in this gorgeous chocolatey brown so the reason why I say more lounging around the house is because they are super soft but they're also quite thin and I got these in a UK 10 and then I also got this in the same colour Feel like every single dog mum or anyone who loves a winter walk needs one of these coats it's one of these kind of puffer duvet coats that is maxi so it goes all the way to your ankles literally so you could wear trainers with this and you're covered i personally would probably wear this layered up like in winter on a sunny winter's day when it's freezing cold and you put a nice hoodie underneath the hood's huge as well 
so it keeps all your ears and everything warm and honestly it just covers your entire body i did size up for that reason because it is going to be a layering coat i sized up to 12 i'm glad i did just because i think i would need that um usually i'm a 10 but i think i'd need that extra room for layering thicker things like hoodies underneath the rest of the items that i have to share with you are all fashion related so just before i do jump into those items i thought i'd just mention a couple of other things that i had kind of bookmarks on my phone i've got a new phone coming actually so speaking of which apple apple products on amazon like airpods and things i've seen reduced so that's probably a good place to get apple products reduced in the sale um, another thing i wanted to mention emma my emma mattress i feel like to get a mattress it's a good time of year to get it so anyway the emma mattress which is our new love i've worked with them previously and they do currently have a discount code running for me for you guys which is freya home in capital letters and that will get you an additional five percent off the black friday prices so make sure to take advantage of that just to get that little extra off if you are in the market for a new mattress and honestly their black friday sales are amazing again a hoover is another great um time to buy at black friday we personally have recently invested into the shark hoover with the pet um additional thing i'll leave it linked below it's kind of a premium one from shark but i knew that having a dog having a golden retriever he's not too bad most of the time but in in his seasonal sheds which we've had one of since having him and he's now one years old we have had one shed when he was a bit younger and i was like oh gosh this is a lot of hair so to keep on top of it i just wanted a good pet friendly hoover that is specifically designed for pet owners it's amazing it is a plug-in one and that to me was like oh you know it's quite weighty you have to plug it in but the suction power and you can hoover as long as you want the other thing that i want to mention as well is we have recently been sent i'm going to say a couple of months ago now a pan from our pan which is stocked on selfridges they have some black friday sales going on and it's a good all-rounder it's just one pan but it does so many different things i've got the beige one as well so it looks nice a hotel chocolate velvetizer great christmas gift idea and again they do tend to do black friday deals as well so if you're looking for one black friday is the time another brand i work with on a regular basis is eufy security i already know they have some amazing black friday sales that they've shared with me so they are also stocked on amazon and other retailers but eufy security cameras in itself i think personally are reasonably priced most of the ones that we've got are like battery powered or plug-in super easy to install all on the app on your phone so we actually have a whole array of products from their range. So if you're looking for like a doorbell, a camera doorbell, indoor cameras, outdoor cameras, smart doorbells, they, they honestly have all sorts. Bathing monitors, check them out. One thing that I'm keeping my eyes peeled for is maybe a new vlogging camera. I know quite a few people have purchased this Sony, is it Z1 camera? I don't know if you're a vlogger, a YouTuber, or into that kind of thing. Then the Canon G7X Mark II, which is the one that I've had pretty much the entire time i've done youtube it has actually lasted me a really long time this the screen tends to go a little bit on it but other than that it has been a really good camera but the quality of this sony one which most people are transitioning over to does look really good it's got a little mic on it as well and i just think well you know it's my job it's justified keeping my eyes peeled for black friday sales for that i think that's everything i wanted to mention but moving on to the other fashiony bits that i've got I picked up a pair of trainers and these are direct from Adidas. Tom bought himself some and his mum some as well for Christmas because I just feel like trainers are a good time, especially like a, a nice pair of trainers, good time to get at Black Friday. So Adidas do these Ultra Boost, which I already have some in white and black. This one's a slightly different design. I think it's a slightly older design, but I actually, not. I'm not gonna say I prefer it. I love this color though. So it's a kind of muted, nude, beige, pinky kind of colour. They're the comfiest trainers I have ever owned. Adidas, I honestly think, will always be my favourite, most favourite pair of trainers. Okay, moving on to, okay, this is exciting. This was again sent to me from PR at George at Asda. First time I've ever received something from them. And I love a little Asda shop, especially their homeware. They've got online sales and discounts over this weekend. And they've sent me a set of their new rebalance range in the leggings and the top. These are 
honestly, hands down, amazing quality. Well beyond my expectations for a supermarket and for an affordable price point as well. They're incredible. So I went for the kind of tan chocolate pair. I picked these up in a medium. They're nice and stretchy. In fact, they are very stretchy. So you definitely don't need to size up in them. And nice and high-waisted. And then the top that comes with it, it's not like typical kind of top that I would wear, but it is two parts. So I probably would wear this vest. But then it comes with the kind of sleeve warmers as well. So if you're wanting to wear it more as like active wear, a workout wear, then I think as a set it looks lovely. However, the leggings for me are what steals the show. I mean, they're priced at £16 full price. But keep your eyes peeled for these in any kind of Black Friday promotions that they may run in store and online. Because these are amazing. They have them in black as well. Speaking of leggings... One of my, in fact, no, I'm not going to say one of, my absolute hands down favourite pair of leggings are my Lululemon leggings. I'm wearing a pair now. I have a bit of a collection because I'm that obsessed. I think I have about five or six pairs now. So it's definitely something that I would keep my eyes peeled for over this like weekend for the sales period because they are expensive. They're £88 a pair. I know, that's a lot. They're called the Align Leggings. They do a longer line in 28 inch and then 25 inch, which is my go-to. I do have a pair of 28 inch, which is fine, um, but 25 is the perfect. And I think they have a slightly cropped version as well. But anyway, I've got my hands on two new sets. I'm obsessed. I've got the little Lululemon on the back. And this is in a really dark forest olive green, which I don't own, which I'm loving and then i also picked up a black pair and i've never owned these ones before they're the exact same legging the only difference is that they've got a pocket that kind of sits on the side of the leg so if you are wearing them more as active wear and want to maybe go on a long walk with them a bit of a jog or whatever you've got or go to the gym you've got the option to be able to pop something in the side pocket on the leg panels other than that they're the exact same and these ones are in the black again 25 inch treat yourself you won't regret it. Best leggings, hands down. Next up, I've got some bits sent to me from Everlane, which is very kind of them. Just got a couple of things. Um, do you know, every time I order from Everlane, I forget how much I love it. As a brand, it just is beautiful. It kind of reminds me of a bit more of a premium Zara. They also sent me a pair of leggings. So they definitely don't feel like the Lululemon ones, I'm gonna say that. But these are in a medium. These are definitely more of, they feel more like a workout legging. Whereas the Lululemon, I chill in, I wear every single day. These do feel a little more sportsy in fabric, if that makes any sense at all. So it's an ethically made, sustainable brand. These ones are in a medium, they're called the Perform Legging. And then I also got this jumper, which I thought was a really unique, unusual, I was going to say unusual and unique. So I said unusual colour. It's in camel, but it's a really light camel. It's kind of verging on mustard, I would say. So it's just a high neck knit jumper. It is soft because I know sometimes with like these blends, they can be a bit itchy. But this isn't. This isn't an extra large though. So I did size up because I wanted that more slouchier fit to be able to wear this with leggings okay then the last place that i picked up some bits from recently is misguided and i just wanted to run through these they're actually again all leggings i'm obsessed it's reached a point where i'm actually obsessed i literally wear them every day i've thrown out all my jeans i own two pairs i think of jeans and they're both a like sand cream color the rest of them are gone wet look leather look leggings are a favorite this time of the year again to wear with something like a nice knit jumper just shopping around town i feel like this color is the color of my life right now this kind of forest green i've been obsessed with throughout all of autumn into winter so i decided to pick myself up these in a size 10 they are definitely just leggings they're nice and stretchy but there's no like hard around the front or anything so i probably would wear these with a slightly longer kind of cream knit. I've got cream knit, v-neck knit from H&M that I think this would look really nice with. Then I also got these two more as lounging around the house, comfy knit leggings. This one in particular are probably my favourite because they've got like a rib to it. Um, I've got wired leg trousers like this, but just to have a legging as an option, I thought was a nice alternative. Like I say, just a nice thick rib and a gorgeous neutral oatmeal kind of colour. And then this grey pair are even softer. These are so soft. And 
really high waisted as well which again i love in leggings and these ones are in a 10 these are the recycled seam front legging cord so it is part of a cord if you want to get the matching top nice thick rib at the bottom of these leggings and honestly just so comfy these ones are a bit more like athletic a bit more fitted these are in a kind of off-white color i would say so this is part of the restyled range high-waisted ribbed pair of leggings that just go all the way down they've got a seam running down the front as well and they also do a matching little crop top to make it a full set that you can just throw a sweatshirt on over the top it's kind of just add, like acts as a little bralette type top and i got the top in a 10. so that is everything that i've been picking up recently things that i have maybe been keeping my eyes peeled for throughout this weekend i feel like it is the season to shop it is my favorite weekend of the year to shop so i hope you guys have been getting some fun purchases some cheap bargains out there and if you haven't already started your christmas shopping then i would suggest now is the time to do so so i hope you got some ideas and suggestions on what's out there and what to keep your eyes peeled for this weekend hope you have a lovely rest of your weekend whatever it is that you end up doing and i hope to see you all very very soon in my next video bye guys